You've been as outspoken as anybody about wanting to see Brady and sharpening yourselves against the Patriots with their best. Now that the day is almost here, you still feel the same way? Of course. Um, you know, there's not going to be uh, anything held back, and, you know, uh, there's no excuse for either team at this point. And, you know, we're just going to go out there and try to win a game on Thursday. You've had different incarnations of your team. Obviously, they've had different incarnations of theirs. Why have they, over the years with him, been so successful against you guys, particularly up there? Uh, you know, I don't know if it's one uh, determining factor, but, you know, I think uh, um, there are some keys in getting off the ball. I mean, getting off on third down. Um, you know, special teams always play a big hand. Um, you know, and then uh, just being um, – you know, very uh, patient. You know, these games, they're always close to start off for a while, um, but it's a team that uh, stays focused and doesn't make mental errors, um, you know, and makes those three uh, splash plays that really stick out. To follow it up, Cam, how do you stay away from getting frustrated, especially as somebody in the front seven when he gets rid of the ball as quickly as he does? I mean, he's getting rid of the ball. I mean, you saw the numbers against the Seahawks, I'm sure, in the Super Bowl. It's less than 2.2 per, per snap. He was getting rid of the ball. Yeah, you know, uh, things we can counteract that is stop the run early, you know, and make them have some longer passes. Uh, you know, you can look and see his numbers are great, but what you really don't realize is he's always having a stable of backs that reach 100 yards in a game most of the time. So, uh, you know, we got to put him in some longer situations. Uh, that way they got to convert, uh, and he's got to wait for a play to develop. You know, uh, if he's able to hit these draggers um, and these slants all over, you know, we got to tackle it right away. Get me over with us. You guys have put some stuff on tape which suggests that a good offense can run against you. They aren't one that likes to run. They like to substitute the run game with the short pass. But at times, certainly against the Colts, a team that they've had success running against, they're not afraid to go to it. How do you think he'll approach you guys in that regard? You know, we'll be ready to stop the run. Um, you know, we can sit up here and talk about the preseason, but it's week one now, and uh, what's behind us is behind us, and it's up to us to clear that and not let us affect us during the regular season. I was going back and looking for a big road upset that you guys had during Mike's era and one that leaps to mind. Was, you know, if you're going by the Vegas odds, the same sort of thing when you went to Baltimore the year that Ben was hurt and Leftwich got hurt. You guys had the bad game against the Browns, and then Charlie led you guys to the close victory, a last-second field goal. Does it feel kind of like that where a lot of people are saying this is going to be a blowout against you guys and you're going into a tough situation? Yeah, um, you know, it's a little bit like that because, you know, we had uh, some of our guys out in that game. Um, obviously, Ben wasn't playing. Um, you know, and it took a lot of other guys to step up. You know, I think uh, in that in this case, uh, we do have seven, and um, we're missing some other parts. So it's going to be pro pro appropriate for us to uh, have other guys step up as well. How do you counteract a crowd that's going to be like a cauldron? Tough defense and getting off quick. Um, you know, when you do that, I think it uh, it affects the crowd and. Uh, if we do it uh, constantly, you know, uh, they never get into a rhythm.